I think we all knew that when the M4A1S got buffed, it would have an increase in all the skin prices. I mean, it went from a gun that practically no one used to a gun that pretty much everyone in games uses, whether in the pro scene or just in your normal competitive matches. But by no means did I expect prices to continue increasing for this long after already doubling in price, tripling in price in some cases so far. So today, let's talk about exactly what the future looks like for M4A1S skins and if there's still room for profiting, especially if you own one as just a play skin. But just before we get into it, a quick pre-roll from my sponsor, CS Bro. CS Pro is a new case opening platform with the best 95% RTG. It is also the first community driven CSGO platform. You decide which cases will appear tomorrow. Also, be sure to enter my promo code PRSUKAFIRE for a 9% deposit bonus on your first three deposits. And yeah, click that link in the description and sign up to CS Pro today. But for now, let's get right into the video. So first of all, let's look at a couple M4A1S prices, starting with the Hot Rod, a skin that came with Operation Bloodhound back in 2015, a collection that I've talked about really briefly in the past because there really isn't too much to say about it, and by no means did I expect results like this. Like when I said this thing was profitable nine months ago or whatever it was, I definitely didn't expect this thing to two and a half X in price in just three months time. But we saw an increase from around $200 to these things currently sitting at $550 in the span of 3 months. Things started taking off about a week after September 21st when we saw the actual update that buffed the A1S and made it viable again, but it wasn't just an A1S skin that's an old collectible like the Hot Rod that we saw increase. We also saw it in normal play skins like the Decimator, which has tripled in price in the same time period. and isn't exactly falling off in price like you'd expect it to at this point. And why is that? If you see an increase in price this quick, it usually results in just as quick of a fall back down. But let me tell you why this is one of the weird exceptions where it's way different this time around. Because of this buff and obviously the very vast majority of the community switching to the A1S, those people are going to need some A1S skins as well, which they didn't have before this update, which makes sense. And because of this, they're increasing in price a lot because there's huge demand for these skins. Pretty much the entire player base wants one. And people that owned the skins previously are barely selling them because, I mean, everyone is using the A1S now. I mean, why would they sell them? They want an A1S skin if it's the primary CT rifle that they're going to be using, whether they're just a normal skin that has a lot of supply and isn't a cheap case with millions on the Steam market, or an old exclusive operation skin, these skins don't really have a reason to decrease a substantial amount at all, really. People are always going to need M4A1S skins until a nerf comes out, and if there even is one, or if the A4 becomes viable again, which I don't think is going to happen anytime soon, if at all. But that's not to say these things are just going to keep climbing in price. People aren't just going to pay any price for these things, and I'd like to think we're getting to that point. But it's been three months and these things are still increasing, so I really couldn't tell you when we're going to see the top. It's kind of hard to see the trend exactly on the Steam market, but it's really apparent on third party sites that people will still happily pay more money for these even now. Also, there's two really cheap hot rods listed on Skimport right now that just got listed when I made this video and are like $40 to $50 under the price of the last sale listed. And I definitely think they're at a good price to buy it. So if you want to look at those and if you want an A1S skin that's also an investment, the link to those will be in the description. But let's continue. What is the future of these M4 skins gonna look like? Is it gonna be good? Or are we gonna see them keep increasing? Is it gonna come to a standstill? Or is the price just way too high already? Are we gonna see them tank back down? Well, the thing is, I feel like it's gonna be completely different compared to certain skins. For a skin like the A1S Hot Rod, it's very possible that we see them keep climbing up in price. They're a lot more limited than a skin like the Decimator that can still be unboxed in cases, and they're also a skin that's been increasing in price for ages without being the most viable CT rifle. So people clearly liked these things as an investment in the past as well, before the A1S buff actually happened. And because of that, I think it's going to be even better now because we had people that seemed to be holding onto these things for ages already in the past when they weren't using it as a play skin. And now as people are using these as a play skin, along with tons more people buying them as well and everyone using the A1S now, 
It should be even better, of course, unless E1S randomly gets nerfed, which I don't see happening anytime soon at all, but of course, I've always got to say that Valve could surprise us. But my thoughts on play skins are definitely going to be a lot different, whether it's the Decimator, Guardian, Flashback, even the Print Stream. I just don't think buying these and expecting a return when it comes time to sell is a realistic result after counting all the fees. Like, they can fluctuate at the price they're at now, maybe they can continue going up, but I can't imagine normal play skins that can just be unboxed are just going to keep going up and up and up. People are going to start selling these off eventually, even if they use the A1S as their play skin. And especially with something like the print stream, which is in the broken fan case and still has 1.2 million broken fan cases being unboxed a month, that's a lot of print streams coming into supply. Even if the skin is red, people are going to be unboxing those every month and selling them off. So supply is getting larger and with these things at the $90 price, that's a lot of money to some people, so they're gonna sell and price might start going down. So what I'm saying is, in the vast majority of situations, if the skin is in the case, I wouldn't expect to buy it and make a good flip and price unless you get really lucky because after fees, you'd have to be selling at like a 20% increase from what you bought it at to make like a 5% return. And that just isn't going to be worth it at all for me and probably shouldn't be for you. But for the hot rod, I can definitely see it climbing to higher heights. Not saying that it's just going to continue at the pace it's going at now. I wouldn't go into it with that mindset, but like three plus months from now, I definitely don't expect to see it come crashing down to where it was before the buff. We definitely don't have a clear top in price yet though, so it's possible we can see it pull back a bit, but if you catch it for a good price, which in my opinion that 330 price range is definitely good on Skimport, then you can buy it, but if you want to play it safe, I would wait till we see a clear top. But overall, just some final notes that you might want to take from the situation. If Valve decides that they don't like the M4 buff and want to make the A4 meta again, you better stack up on A4 skins right away because the entire community is going to want them and we're going to see the same trend with the A1S that we saw this time around. And the same thing is going to go for if Valve decides to randomly buff the AUG or the Krieg again or I mean hell maybe even the R8. If it becomes a viable weapon that you're going to see consistently used in the game, people are going to buy skins for it. It doesn't matter what gun it is. And Based on the explosion that we saw this time in A1S skins, you better expect something like that to happen if Valve randomly decides to put something else in the meta. So definitely keep your eye out for that. I mean, I've got to be really hopeful to hope for something like that to happen anytime soon, but always keep it in mind because if it does happen, we saw things triple in price in three months time. So you can make huge amounts of money from it. But yeah, besides all that, I think that is going to wrap it up for this video. So as always, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you're new. But for now, I'll see you guys next one. Peace.